Oh yeah. I have the gang of scrolls that are mad at me because I did the thing. I hope there it is. you find this to your liking, Princess Madeline of Avalon. And I can go the through. The tension between the Bridge Troll Guild and the Royal Guards is at an all-time high, and we need to come to an agreement soon. Your bridges need to stop stonewalling us and give us your demands. We need you to watch your step when crossing our backs. Give more respect to the giant whose shoulders you're stomping on. Well, we need you to stop complaining and get back to work. We are sick of getting walked all over. You're just looking at the problem from your perspective. We all have to work together. The problem is there are no bridges. You're a bridge and you're not doing your job. Ah, oh, jeez. We've been doing our job for generations. You've worn us down and we need you to think about a softer touch. Your agreement with Daventry clearly states you are to provide bridge services at the designated locations. And it states that you are to be kind to the bridges. While we're hardy structures, we also feel each and every step we take. I'm sorry. The issue remains. We need you to return to work. And we need you to stop sharpening your boots every night. That's impossible. We are required by the guard mandate to maximize boot sharpness every evening. Oh, come on. Work with me here. All we're asking is for you guys to take lighter steps. And not conduct the official march? Never. Tradition dictates the harshness of our steps. Then perhaps you need to change your official march from flamboyant huffing a boot to graceful gliding and soft shoes. No can do. It took us months to memorize our current march. Oh, you're always crossing us, and this time we are holding strong for a compromise. If you continue to suspend okay. your services, King Edward will banish you to the pit of never-ending itches. Gersh, I just need you to find a way to work with me here. Back to work! Softer steps! Stop eating guards! Better maintenance! Longer hours! Weekends off! Stop eating snoots! Stop the stomping! Stop the... stomp! Wait, I feel like we're arguing in circles. But what are your demands again? We need you to watch your step <laughs> when crossing our backs. <laughs> Give more respect. I have no time to listen to additional opinions. We need these bridges to get back to work. Well, we need you to stop complaining and get back to work. We are... Ooh, for me? Oh, they feel as though I am walking on clouds. And the craftsmanship, stunning. Can you order one pair for each of the Royal Guards? Mm, well, it does look soft and cuddly, but that's not accounted for in your mandate. I could create an addendum for that. We could still sharpen our boots so many and much as we wish, but these socks would protect you. Oh, jeez, that would just be the best. A real compromise that we could all live with. I think that's exactly what you should do. Thanks, Graham. The Guild will never forget this. See you at the next meeting. The new right. socks offer the guards souls. It was definitely a step in the right direction. I'm warming up to these. I'm just glad the trolls never had to suffer the agony of defeat. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. I think I have to lose the first one. Welcome, friend, to the championship duel of wits. Well, the take-home version. Budget cuts or something. But, uh, look around. Take it all in and know... We've already won. Our allegiance guarantees us both a spot on King Edward's court. How exactly is this going to work? <laughs> Before we get to the rules, I offer a toast and an opportunity. You see, while this game might stretch uh -huh. the imagination, for some I find it rather simple and in need of an additional mental challenge. Guards, the raisin juice, please. <laughs> this is my favorite game, though it's been a long time since I last played it. Are you familiar with hypnotic powder? One sip of this, and you'll have to do everything I say. And, of course, vice versa. In goes the powder. Guard number two, if you would. I think no matter what you pick, you're always going to pick the one with the raisin. So, just pick hmm. one. And you're, al one. you're always going to get the one with the raisin. I think... Either you can if you're smart enough and good enough, not me, obviously, 
then you can beat him after it rears off, because it does rear off after a moment. And then afterwards you and can use the potion that your friends gave you and it will change the potion so, right the goal so you don't the use that one. Is to hit your you get it? Pawn you get it. Arrow by moving these pieces around the board. Your pawn will fire an arrow after you move. I'll go first. After I move this shield, watch how the arrow bounces off the shields and around the board. It's your turn, Graham. <laughs> Not to sound like a royal guard, but as an additional rule, you can't move a shield your opponent moved on his previous turn. Will you please move the lower left shield to your left? I'm so happy we'll be working in the castle together, Graham. And if I ever become king, you'll make an excellent advisor. I'll move this shield. And they'll all have to accept it's what's on the inside that counts. I'm very happy for you. Addendum. <laughs> you can move and rotate your pawn to change the direction you shoot. Will you please rotate your pawn clockwise? Your arrow will always fire in the direction you're facing. I do hope you realize all the planning I did to get us here. I'll just rotate this shield. Well, looks like the hypnosis powder is wearing off. Make any move you want. Not that it matters. I feel like it does matter. I don't think he can use this one, can he? Nope. Go that way. Huh. Looks like my intelligence has reigned supreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guards, guards, I've won. Please review the winning board. We have to do something. Graham is about to lose. Graham is about to lose. I think I know what I was supposed to do there, but I'm not smart enough to do it. So. Seriously? You one all more. know I won. Apologies, sir, but Decree 3214 specifically states that all dual victories must be witnessed and verbally notarized by a royal guard, such that it can be recorded for posterity in our tournament record. Unfortunately, the board was compromised before a final notary could be given. Therefore, this victory is nullified, and another game must be played. We really are sorry, and assure you... I've moved my mic. I hope that does it. Once um... again. You are the most ridiculous guards I've ever encountered. No matter. Merely a delay in my ascent to knighthood. I'm ready to beat you again whenever you're ready. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what was I going to say? I moved my mic, so I hope that does it. Um... There we go. No, I just so have to be soon, smart. Soon, raisin juice. <laughs> this all seems so familiar. Hypnotic powder. Mix them up. It's weird that he doesn't see the one that's white. And now, you choose. Hmm. I'll take this one. Oh, excellent choice! And that was the last of my hypnotic powder. And okay, now, now it's about me and seeing if I can win.
I wish I had other powders to make this game more interesting. I've seen enough magic powders for one day. I'm going to stick with my plan here. I don't know what my plan is, but I have a plan. Can you believe what that brute was hiding in his belly? What a disappointment. Well, I am actually liked his art. I'm not proud of embarrassing him. <laughs> Graham, that dope will never accept us. He should keep to the knitting. I think turn. Whisper though, eh? <laughs> Finally got a taste of his own medicine. He's not that bad once you get to know him. Are you getting soft on me, Graham? Do you have any other secret alliances I should know about? Not really. I heard you had a run-in with some goblins. I did. Nasty creatures, really. Ugh. But, uh, be careful around them. They're smarter than they look. Mm-hmm. Sure. Move you up. Oh, I could have won. No, I couldn't have. Wait a minute, I couldn't have. What? How did I not notice that? Don't screw this up for me, Graham. I mean, I just won here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. I am ready for decree 3214.6 and a half. Actually, I think it was decree 1.21. Aha! <laughs> we knew you could do it. You're out of the alliance. I can't lose to you. H how about another challenge? We only got to square off in a duel of wits. A well rounded gentleman would win in a duel of strength as well. Graham, take this. Excuse oh, me, baby. Choose huh? these. Excuse choose these. Choose these. Uh, 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 um, here. <laughs> I really want to do the kindness and get the um pie at one point, but I really am doing the wisdom path here. That one hurt. <laughs> okay, one more challenge. Uh, uh, how would you fare in a duel of speed? No, Manny, it's over. Mm -hmm. Just as the battle isn't always claimed by the strong, and the race isn't always won by the swift. Sometimes the intelligent falter. And I think now is my chance. And now is my time. Come on, Graham. One more duel for a chaka. Do it for the village of starving uh, Pitchthreans. Oh, you said his village 
was home to the Itch Twins. What exactly is your plan here? Cause I'm starting to- speed! No, Graham, he's not worth it. Hmm. With the bridge strike resolved, supplies can be delivered to the shops again. Business started to pick up. The Wetzel Wolves stopped harassing the town and migrated north. Even the guards marched with a little more caution in their step. All things considered, it was a pretty good first day in Daventry. That was... that was amazing! I mean... You faced a dragon, you made weird new friends, you battled for wits. I... I just don't get it. Get what? With your busy schedule, how did you ever find time for a night job? Huh? Was that... Did you just make your first pun? I think I did. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> they grow up so Move my fast. mic again. Sorry. The tournament! It's about to start! Well, you best get out there, young lady. Good luck. And remember what I told you. Take on the duel with quick wittedness. Thanks, Grandpa. You've always guided me straight. Are you going to watch? Of course, of course. <clears throat> I'll be down momentarily. Hope you practiced, Gwendolyn. Nope. Just listen to stories. What? <laughs> I'm not sure I like this. You're such a bizarre creature. That's what I would say to you. Get back here! Horse feathers. Egg. Exactly. Cannot believe I just said that. <laughs> Children! Children! Egg. Come along. Exactly. Quickly. It's your grandfather. Alright, well that was King's Crest, the first chapter. I don't think I'm going to continue the chapters. The stories are pretty good. Chapter 2, I don't really like chapter 2. Chapter 2 is not my favorite of the chapters in this game. So, I'm leaving it at chapter 1. That way, you can explore this game yourself. But either way, this is the last uh, episode of King's Crest that I'm going to play and record. So, as always, I hope you all have a great day and a fantastic week. See ya!